<laughs> Hello my friends. Welcome to my video about the concept of going with your own passions, going your own path, loving what you do and doing what you love. Number one, I believe roadblock that people may have is this, is they are too busy comparing themselves to others. But if you really think about it, we all have different beds we've made and we're sleeping in different beds because of that. So in order for somebody to really progress forward is to sometimes actually stop trying to compete with somebody outside of yourself. Um, you know, stop trying to compete with the Michael Jordan when you're six foot two. You can't because he's like seven foot tall. He's gonna be better at basketball likely. Um, so it really ties in with doing what you love because it becomes kind of like in line with uh, almost kind of like your abilities. So if you're really good at art and you love art, you know, you may want to express yourself in beautiful, wonderful artworks or, or film or other projects. And the reason why you should always be doing what you love is that we're not put on this earth to be going through suffering, through toil, through, uh, you know, all these things associated with, you know, sweat of the brow, blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, why? Uh, the, the question that becomes why? Is that because we're told by society that we gotta be like plowing the field endlessly without any reward? Or perhaps you could just go outside and say like, you know, everything is perfect. Look at the sun shining, look at the birds chirping, smell the roses, smell the, smell the different flowers, smell the buses passing by. You know, it's all perfection because each one is a perfect manifestation of what it is. So the idea is you be the perfect manifestation of what you are. So it becomes less of thinking about what other people uh, judge or think that you should be doing or it becomes kind of your own inner um, fulfillment you're not seeking the approval of others you know it's like oh you're only successful if you have like let's say a Rolls Royce you know what that makes 99.99 percent of people unsuccessful but if you think about it success being more of like are you passionate about what you're doing are you loving what you do do you feel like it's trudgery or toil if you don't, then you're probably working in the right field for yourself. So the idea is to really keep perfecting yourself in what works for you. It just, everything else just has to be surrendered. It's just unnecessary, uh, unnecessary stuff to actually uh, partake in. You know, why not enjoy a little bit more life? Why not? Um, realize that it, it it is not necessarily about the hard work it's also about working smart so the person that's loving what they're doing possibly they'll be uh, motivated to be better at describing the product that they're selling as an example they'll be like okay this product is gonna solve all these specific problems you know and I'm here to help you the idea is this is that Everybody else has what you want. Uh, and if you help them get what they want, they'll be more than happy to share their um, you know, money, resources, whatever it is that you want by creating the value. So this creation of value, it becomes an, a simple thing, a fun thing to do. So it also goes back to economics, if you really think about it. It's best for somebody to produce something that they're good at and buy the extra produce of somebody else. So there's just so many different examples, but the idea of loving what you do and doing what you love, is just this, such a variety, a buffet of things in the world that you could definitely find something that you love, something you are passionate about. And if you're not passionate about something yet, great. You know, you have a goal, you're like, Hmm, I'm not passionate about anything. What if I could, you know, just 
Search online, find out passions. Do some research, do some dream building. Open up like a magazine or two. You know, you have these different people going on safaris, going on these yachts, going on these trips someplace, having all these beautiful houses with interior decorators, you know, like beautiful families and things like this. What, what actually resonates with you and what motivates you? It comes down to the motivation and just that realization to stop really caring what other people think. I, it's like a lot of people get stuck in waiting for the approval of others. It's like, hey, yeah, you can be a pioneer. Yeah, you could be a maverick. Yeah, you could, you know, produce this new goods or service that nobody else has seen, but you've seen the market that it actually requires it. There, there's an example that a lot of inventors, they decide to invent something that they would be using themselves. Talk about, you know, eating your own cooking. If you're passionate about something also, people catch on to that passion and they become passionate about it too. That's why it's actually very important. There was actually a story uh, by Zig Ziglar where he used to be selling pots and pans, you know, like uh, a door-to-door -door salesman of like uh, kitchen sets. So one guy did everything perfectly. He did the technique, uh, you know, they used to come over to people's houses, cook them dinner, and if possible, people would buy the kitchen set from them. You know, they would, you know, br bring the groceries and stuff like this. So this guy, this guy couldn't sell really anything. And then what winds up happening is that uh, Zig Ziglar comes along and he's like, you did the technique perfect. I don't know why I didn't sell them. Like, how does your wife like these, uh, you know, cooking utensils, cooking set? He's like, we don't own this cooking set because we think it's too expensive. So even though this guy is too per, uh, do, doing this perfectly, he's not even eating his own cooking, in this case, utensils. Uh, he's not using them. And he's not passionate about it. He doesn't think that they're great value. Otherwise, he would have bought it himself. So it really comes down to this. So everybody is doing the best that they can at all possible times. And the only, there was actually an interesting quote I've actually heard. This, I think this was a quote by Socrates. And the way he put it, it's a very interesting like two-dimensional duality way of thinking about it. But he actually put it like this. The only good is knowledge. And the only evil is ignorance. So if we really think about it, Socrates, he really stood on his ideas and his belief systems. And um, he wound up actually being somebody that brought around rational philosophy to the world. The idea of asking questions, that not following just the herd. You know, it's an example, like a good example is that if you want to succeed sometimes, you actually do the opposite of what everybody else is doing because a lot of times people are just doing, you know, the wrong unnecessary thing. Just think about it. Most people are not super wealthy and not super successful. So if anything, instead of following the followers, we got to be following the leaders. What are the leaders doing? What do they think about? What do they do when they wake up? Instead of blaming them, saying that somehow the, the, the you know, uh, Elon Musk, you know, built Tesla or whatever, that he stole the money from somebody else because he's successful. That's a really poor excuse to keep yourself from being successful. Study what, study what he did. You know, perhaps maybe read this biography and autobiography. Just think about what he said. You know, there's, you know, bi biographies by Richard Branson. There's... A whole bunch of other ones so it really comes down to this it's like a lot of times people do things because and they don't even ask the question and a, a good example is this there, there, there was a story about uh, how every Thanksgiving they would you know do a pork roast they would roast a pork a pork leg and they would always cut the tip off and this would be this would be from the time of the grandma and eventually the the granddaughter, she's like, why are we cutting the tip off? It, do it doesn't make sense. She, so she goes to the grandma and asks her, like, why, why do you cut the tip off the pork loin off? And she goes, because uh, we had a very small oven during the Great Depression, and it wouldn't be able to fit the whole pork leg. So I would just cook it separately. I would fry it up. And to think that all these people, they thought that you needed to cut the end off, even though the ovens got bigger, much better, and much higher quality. And she... You know, people wound up actually not asking questions. So the idea becomes doing what you love and loving what you do is in a way, if you really think about it, it's about going your own way. It could be with the crowd, against the crowd. It could be setting your own trend. 
It could be creating something different. It could be um, stop stopping worrying about what everybody else is doing or not doing because you know everybody's trying to do the best that they can. Or sometimes they're actually ignorant of the facts and they have a closed mind. But you know it is their issue, and you know it is something that they would have to go through um, and consider later themselves. For you, the best thing you could do is actually work on yourself and change yourself because the, the rest of the world really. Um, if you really think about it, it's an illusion because if these people are ignorant of, you know, the true reality of things, perhaps that they were, were spiritual beings or there's just so many different dimensions and levels, uh, onions and layers upon layers upon layers with different truths entwined, that it, it really comes down to be the example of being the example of, um, you know, of light, of beauty, of wonder, of interest, of love that you would want to see in the world. So that's my message. The importance of doing what you love and loving what you do, it becomes simple tasks to do, it becomes fun. You free yourself from the obligations that others try to put on you, the ideas, the the things, the, the old ways of doing things. And perhaps the old some of the old ways of doing things are good, so it's good to keep an open mind. But in the end, you actually, you gotta follow your own path. That that's that, that's the only thing, you know. But if, if for example, somebody is following the path of spirituality, there's a lot of different ways of you know spiritual paths. You know, there's the Jewish way, there's the Christian way, there's the you know Buddhist way, there's the Hindu way, and there's just so many different ways. They all actually seek the the higher self, the true self with the capital S. That you know essence of things that you know, animates all of life, all of the world. You know, in Star Wars, they call it the Force, you know, the Force, it animates everything, you know. And, uh, you know, Yoda, they say, like, uh, he tells uh, Luke, Luke Skywalker, uh, judge me by thy size, do you? You know, we are not this flesh, we are luminous beings. Uh, and paraphrasing Yoda, Yoda, the wise guy of Star Wars. So, that's that's the point my goal for you guys is to keep up the championship doing what you love loving what you do giving lots of likes if you like this you know that's that's the motivation heck I did this video to actually motivate myself I'm kind of doing what I love here that's why I made this video so all right guys hope you catch the point and enjoy your day and keep smiling